Welcome to Sandus TV. I'm your host, Celsa Dule. Have you ever wanted to travel the world for work? Go to interesting and exotic places like Russia, New York City, London, or Paris, and the whole time be surrounded by beautiful people? Well, if that sounds like the life for you, then you're going to be envious of our guest today. Her name is Claudia Gutzelman, and she's a fashion photographer. Her award-winning unique style and vision make her sought after by top advertising firms, publishing companies, and graphic design agencies. We were able to grab a few minutes of Claudia's busy time to talk with her about her art, how she's gotten to where she is, and why she uses SanDisk to capture and secure those valuable images that grace the pages of magazines and billboards all over the world. Well, thanks for joining us today, Claudia. Oh. of your busy schedule. We appreciate your time. I'm very happy to be here. And we're also appreciative of being in this beautiful space, Saffron Rare Threads, that you actually uh, did a shoot with. Yeah, several shoots. Well, you say so much with so little, because I know you, you like, not minimalist, but you, you're very graphic and, and lots of color, but there's a simplicity to it. What is it that you're, that you're looking for when you, when you do a shoot? How do you get a Claudia look? It just developed over time, and it may actually change as I move along in life. It's all my influences uh, where I've become, and um, I guess being German and uh, very graphic, that's what people always tell me. My goal is, I guess, to try to make an image which you kind of remember, and there's something which catches your eye. Maybe there's something off that you look first and you see one thing and then you look again and then you see something else. I like to have that, oh, effect, so to say. There are lots of tools of the trade, <coughs> but you say the most important tool is uh, imagination. Mm -hmm. how, how, how so? How can you elaborate on, on why is the imagination the best tool? Well, that's when magic happens, isn't it? You can be, uh, you know, you can be very technical. You do exactly what you learn in school or what somebody told you. You put the light here and the light there and then... But what about uh, energy or the feeling, the emotion? So to allow for that freedom of imagination and creativity, you really do have to depend on your equipment. The safety of your client's images is, r is really important to you. Mm -hmm. And I know that you shoot on SanDisk. So talk to us about security and safety of those images and how you utilize Sandus. These days, it's all there is. It's the cart, and I'm you know shooting very fast. And if you're out on location, and uh, everything needs to be fast because you can't just stop and wait for things to download and happen. And gladly, our the technology is there. These shoots are so complex, you know, everybody's time involved, talent, money, budget, everything, and. I could not risk or even think about that there would be a possibility that I could lose my images. So I need to know whatever gear I use, it needs to be secure. I don't even want to actually waste a thought on it. I buy it, I know it, I rely on it. It's so important. You shoot on the cards, you have multiple cards with you. Mm -hmm. You make sure that you have the, the largest and fastest cards. Mm -hmm. On a shoot, especially with models, there's some situations where they're, where they're staged and that, and that kind of thing. But you do utilize the continuous burst mode that's on the camera. Mm -hmm. I love uh, movement and, uh, you know, so I shoot a lot with uh, stunt models or acrobats or um, models who can do some crazy things. And these guys, um, there's this new urban, it's not that new anymore, urban movement called parkour and these are truckers and basically their philosophy is uh, jump, don't walk. So if there's steps, they wouldn't be walking up the steps, but they would be jumping up the steps. And so you're really depending on that speed of the car to yeah. get those images for you. I need fast, fast cameras, I need speed, I need, uh, my whole equipment needs to be set up to be working fast. I, I you know, so the cards, they um, read down fast, so they help me to really shoot as fast as I can. Your images <laughs> are um, not just in magazines. Your images are on billboards. So you need to shoot in RAW. I always shoot in RAW, no matter what. The capacity of the equipment, the card that you're using is really important to you too. Mm -hmm. How many cards do you usually bring with you on a shoot? Mm, I think I have nine, ten cards. Some, I've maybe some more as backup. It depends because I'm often on location. And you always try to keep up with the current. Um, oh yeah. With what's current. Yes. So if there's a bigger, better card, you're going to go for I that. And we'll go with the bigger, better card because the cameras are going to get bigger and better. So everything is just aligned with it. With it, I, I just have to do that. It's just you know, it's my livelihood. It's my it's all there is, my images. You've said that framing or the composition of a shot is, is essential, and you take your time to set that up. Well, it's my personal style. To me, it's very important. And I, um, I don't really crop into images afterwards. What I, I feel like I see, I see it, and then I shoot it, and I know when I've shot it. I would just put right now the camera in front, and I would frame you. And I couldn't actually describe it in advance. I would just 
frame, and then like that's it. You just know it. Done. <laughs> um, you say, don't forget that your ideas and vision make the difference in getting the images that sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very important. It's a key. It's not a nine to five job. It's not like you stay, you get up and you're like, okay, this is what I do. And of course you can, but I, I think then you won't get where you want to be. Because it's, it never ends. It's just, it's 24 hour and you have to give more than you think you can give. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out and joining us today, Claudia. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys for watching uh, Sandus TV. For more information about Claudia and her work and see more of her images, you can go to claudiagutzelman.com. And of course, to find out more information about Sandus, you can go to sandus.com. I'm your host, Celsa Dulé. Thanks for watching.